I came to believe that the Nicene hermeneutics is superior to modern historical critical hermeneutics, not inferior. Most of the pre-modern hermeneutics prior to the Enlightenment and the preaching of the church up to and past the Enlightenment, even into the present, that hermeneutics is in many ways not only conducive to historic orthodoxy, but it is it is simply natural and normal to the church, and it's vital to the church's preaching of the gospel. There's, this, there's an increasingly wide gap between the preaching of the church and the academic hermeneutics. Now, this would be bad enough if this was confined to what we might call liberal historical critical approaches to hermeneutics, but it's also there's increasingly a, an increasingly wide gap between conservative evangelical hermeneutics and the preaching of the church and the historic hermeneutics of the church. So at the be very beginning of the book, uh, Interpreting Scripture, that very first page that so many people remark on, I lay out what you're taught in Bible college and seminary about hermeneutics. And I just say, Here's a paragraph describing how they teach it. And then I say, this is all wrong. This is this is highly misleading because it's not the way that the church has traditionally interpreted scripture. And it's not even the way that some of the very advocates of, of contemporary modern hermeneutics, it's not even the way they preach themselves. They don't even interpret the Bible the way they say they're supposed to, according to their academic theory, when they get in the pulpit and preach. So obviously something big is wrong here. The book argues that the pre-modern hermeneutics that I describe here, the Nicene hermeneutics, is first of all, it's uh, the kind of hermeneutics that generated historic orthodoxy, Trinitarian and Christological orthodoxy in the first place. It's the kind of hermeneutics that uh, that uh, defended that and, and, and proclaimed that all through the history of the church. And it's, the, it's still the kind of hermeneutical approach that preachers take when they preach the Bible today. And so that's all on one side. And then on the other side is this conservative version of historical critical approach with the single meaning theory and, and, all, and all that. And I'm saying what we need to do is reform our academic theory by appealing to the best practices and the history of hermeneutics done in the church. So instead of saying, we've got this academic theory that we need to impose on the church, I'm saying that the church needs to bring this academic theory, revise this academic theory to bring it into line with Christian orthodoxy.